Another interesting feature of the Amazon tablets is that they have multiple user profiles. And I believe this is something rolling out on uh, newer Android devices too, but Amazon's put together a kid-friendly interface for their profiles that you can have assigned for your children so you can keep them out of things you don't want them to see. As uh, so you pull down that menu, as you can see there, I've already built a profile for my uh, three-year-old daughter and I can switch over to here. Uh, she, of course, will see the ads though because this is an ad-supported device, but this is the launcher that she gets when she loads it up. So uh, rather than getting uh, the uh, full interface, she has a very simple interface here. She can even choose characters that are in uh, different apps or components of apps that are loaded onto the device. And as a parent, I'll switch back over to my profile real quick. Uh, you can go in and pick out what things they can see on their screen. Now, the only downside, though, is I can't seem to find how to add uh, some of the Amazon Prime video content that I downloaded from their streaming service here. So you can see here I can click on Add Content, and this will go into everything that I currently own, and I can decide whether or not I want my daughter to see it. So if I go over here to Videos, I've got things that I purchased through Amazon Video, uh, but I don't have things that I can uh, assign that were downloaded through their uh, streaming service, which is unfortunate because they have a lot of great kid content on there, which is completely invisible to the kid-friendly interface. Although I suspect the reason why you don't get Amazon Prime Video in the kid interface is because they have this, Amazon Free Time, uh, which they charge you an extra couple of bucks a month for, which does work with that kid interface with curated uh, child-friendly content. And the kid interface provides a lot of granularity to the child's use of the device. So for example, I can have a hard uh, shutoff time at 8 p.m. when it's time for bed, and then it won't let her go back in until 8 a.m. the next day. Uh, you can also set educational goals, so I could say, hey, I want you to read a book for 30 minutes a day before I let you look at any entertainment stuff on there. Uh, you can limit the screen time completely, or you can even go in by activity and decide, you know what, I'm going to allow her to read as many books as she wants on the device, but uh, video watching and app usage I'm going to limit to an hour a day each, and you can adjust those settings uh, within your adult account, and then that will apply to the kid account when they're logged in. So lots of good stuff for parents that uh, want to control a little bit of what their kids are doing on the device. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.